focus today is on accelerating gender equality through economic empowerment. Your Excellency, today here in Katakui, we are here because of two very, very important reasons in addition to celebrating the International Women's Day. One is Katakui qualified to host the Women's Day on rotational basis. The second one is that we cannot hide our joy in celebrating with our sister, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, who by God's grace and your able focus and attention to women, you chose to be your Vice President. She indeed meets all the four categories of every presentation. Symbolically, she is visible and it also indicates inclusivity when she sits in the chair of the Vice Presidency of the country. Substantially, she has the ability to articulate issues of interest to all Ugandans in addition to representing her constituency in Katakui. She is a dynamic representative because she has a sense of focus and connections with others in the rest of the country. Collective representation fits there properly because women who constitute 51% of the total population, it's only wise and befitting that they really deputize the president as the vice president. We are greatly honored, Your Excellency. We can't ex express it more than this. We had to be here in her constituency to join her members who have always required us or requested us to come here and join her in celebrating that milestone achievement of an appointment. Ladies and gentlemen, social economic transformation is at the heart of the NRM government. In several national development plans, women have featured openly and clearly. In the National Development 1, 2, and 3, and we continue to focus on women in the fourth National Development Plan as we, plan, as we take it up. Today is a day when we take stock of the achievements. The gender equality has moved without forgetting some of the challenges like had been highlighted by one of the members who prayed and prayed, made a statement in the prayer. Your Excellency, Ugandans are family behind you as you take lead in transforming society holistically through structures and also uprooting the deep-rooted structural barriers that inhibit women to actualize their potential. It is in order, Your Excellency, and distinguished guests, to acknowledge the people of Katakui for hosting the 2024 International Women's Day and the warm welcome they have expressed as each one of us walked into this podium. We want to thank the leadership of our sister, the Vice President, Her Excellency Jessica Alupo, a pair who has taken lead in mobilization and organization, and also thank the leadership of the District of Katakui for embracing it. They held about 15 meetings. We have not held 15 meetings every time we go to organize women councils, women, women day, maybe two or three, but the leadership of Katakui has expressed commitment. And they have mobilized all the people in the region to be here. We thank you so much and we cannot take it light. Allow me, Your Excellency, to appreciate the assistant directors of ceremonies. And I request one by one for them to come and mention their names so that the members and the crowd applaud them. The assistant master of ceremonies, please join me. Mention your names. And people over there who appreciate your work, please clap for them as they leave because they may not come here, but they'll continue assisting me as and when I request. Papa President, Excellency.